So I grew up playing piano at, in, in high school. I grew up in Connecticut, and I, I was really into jazz piano. Uh, and I had a jazz trio, piano, bass, and drums, and we would go around playing gigs at restaurants or weddings. Uh, but it wasn't until I got to college, I went to Yale University for undergrad, that I first encountered the Carillon. I was on, a, a, on an admissions tour, and somebody pointed out the tower and said, there's bells in the tower. You can go play them if you come to school here. Uh, and so I thought that was the coolest thing ever. And so I, I got to campus as a first year and I, I went over to the, uh, the tower and said, I want to play the bells. Um, and, so I, and so I did, for four years I played bells. But I majored in engineering. So I graduated um, from Yale with an engineering degree. Uh, I took a gap year between engineering schools and went to Belgium to a Carillon school on a scholarship uh, to study Carillon full time for one year. And I thought this is gonna be my gap year between engineering, graduate school, and it was after, after graduating from this Carillon School in Belgium, uh, I went to Utah for a master's in engineering. Um, and I was supposed to get a PhD, but I actually quit halfway through because I realized I was uh, more passionate about bells <laughs> than I was about engineering. Um, and and from, then, from there, I went to Florida to, to play bells for about six months as an intern at this um, wonderful botanic garden for Bob Targarines and then got a job at the University of Chicago, where I was for the last seven years, playing and teaching as the University of Carolinas there. But my wife and I, we love the mountains, we love the West, and so we always wanted to be in Colorado or this part of the country. And there's one Carolina in all of Colorado or Utah, New Mexico, Arizona combined that has a university job, and it's right here. And so when I heard that this position was opening up, uh, I thought, this is, this is our chance to get a Carillon tower in the mountains. And uh, it's a beautiful tower, a beautiful instrument, um, so I'm thrilled to be here. So the Carillon originated about 500 years ago uh, in the Low Countries, in Belgium and the Netherlands. And it started out as a clock chiming mechanism to tell the time, to play simple melodies. And over time, the towers accumulated more bells and became kind of a competition among the cities. Who could get more bells, whose carol on air could play more complicated melodies on their bells. Uh, and the carol kind of grew out of that tradition uh, to what it is today. Uh, and so the way a carol works is it's very much a keyboard instrument, like a piano. Uh, there's one bell for every key. So here at DU, we have 65 bells. 65 keys. And rather than on a piano where you play with your fingers, on the carillon you play with your fists traditionally uh, because the keys are bigger and heavier and uh, you get more control that way. There's also foot pedals like on an organ and those foot pedals play the lowest octave or two octaves of those. And so all together, all four limbs, you can play lots of different music. And you can play contemporary music. Uh, I like to write music for carillon. Um, classical music, pop music, film music, jazz. Uh, it's fun to do a whole variety because it's a very public instrument and everybody outside gets to hear it whether they want to or not. So it's nice to play things that everybody can enjoy. I think I have the coolest job on campus. Of course I would say that, but uh, I get to play the bells every day at noon. So you'll hear me every day on campus, uh, at least on the north side of campus. The bells carry pretty far, I've been told. Usually I'm in the tower when the bells are playing, so I haven't actually explored all of campus while the bells are playing to know how far they reach. But, but my job is to play music for you. And uh, so I'm, I'm like your DJ for the next four years while you're here. There's a summer carillon series of five concerts where I'll invite guest performers from all over the world to come and play the carillon here. And they're on Sundays in the evenings uh, in the summer. And it's a great chance to meet different people that play the carillon uh, and hear different music from different parts of the world. Students can take lessons with me. It's a two credit class. Uh, it's weekly private lessons, and we'll alternate lessons between the instrument in the tower, where the students can play and make noise, public noise all over the campus, uh, music, <laughs> and, and the practice carillon in the Newman Center, which is a, a similar instrument that plays electronic sounds, where not everybody can hear you, so it's a little less um, scary. <laughs> Um, but yeah, ideally students that want to, want to play the carillon will have had some kind of musical background. Ideally they will know how to read music, treble and bass clef, and know kind of how to find a note on a piano or a keyboard instrument. 
Um, nobody comes to college knowing how to play the carillon. That, that was me. I didn't know what a carillon was before college. So uh, there's no, that's something that I think that's really cool about the carillon. You can come having never played it before and start as an 18 year old and become a professional within a decade, which is not something that you get to do with other instruments, I think, as often. You know, my teaching philosophy is really to kind of guide the student to get what they want out of the instrument. I've had students before that really want to be serious, learn the, learn the um, carillon repertoire, the carillon canon repertoire, and really build their skills technically. I've had other students that want to primarily arrange anime songs or Taylor Swift songs. And, um, you know, we get to do, there's certain things that we need to do in lessons, technique and expression and figuring out how to get the most out of the instrument. But, but really, I want to guide the students to do what they want to do. We have an amazing carillon. Uh, it's one of the largest in the country with 65 bells. And it's new, it's only 22, 23 years old. Uh, and it's beautiful. I've played about 100 carillons uh, in my life. Uh, out of about 600 in the world, and this one is amazing. Uh, it's so expressive, it's so grand, it goes down to the very lowest bells all the way up to the highest bells, um, and it's so sonorous, and you can really make music on this instrument, unlike at a lot of other instruments, um, which is something that I'm really excited about, about being here. Uh, and the instrument is quite present on campus, which is something that's not always the case. You can be in a dorm room across the street, or two blocks away and hear the song playing from the bells and recognize the tune and know what it was. And so I really feel like when you're playing the carol in here, you're a presence on campus, which is really cool.